I crashed my drone and it was completely preventable. Yesterday, I decided that I would go out to the lake. There's a very remote road there that is basically halfway between the middle of nowhere there and the middle of nowhere there. I've driven it before. There's nobody out there. And I wanted to test the follow me function on the X-Star Premium because I haven't done a whole lot of programmed flights. I haven't had any problems. On YouTube, if you look around, there are tons of videos of people crashing their drones into things, flying behind, like orbiting. I saw somebody orbit a church or something, and then it lost signal and did a return to home straight into the side of the church, it was somewhere in France. Before I bought my drone, I was trying to watch all that, to be very aware, and I felt pretty good up to this point flying because I haven't had a flyaway. I don't know what that is. It doesn't happen. Um, I haven't flown into anybody or any trees or any, I haven't hit anything. So yesterday I took the drone out there, I put it up, I hit the, f the follow me function and it gave me some options. I put follow the remote um, and also as the go home point was going to be me, not where I'm launching from because my intention was to drive down this road and have it follow my car. And then in the middle of that, I was probably down to 10 minutes or nine minutes, I guess it hit. Return to home, fail safe. You can change the time that it goes home and mine is set for near there. So it decided I gotta go home, I'm out of battery. And instead of returning to me, which I thought it was gonna do and hadn't tested, stupid of me to not test that, it went up up and I couldn't, I was hitting cancel, go home. I tried the pause button. None of those things work when you're in fail-safe mode. It's going home. But home is over a mile back behind me. I set my altitude at 150 feet. Why? Because I'm stupid. It's out by the lake. It's flat. There's no reason to crank it up in the air. I guess I didn't think because where I'm launching from is right there at the road. But meanwhile, it's the, the shore and there's hills off to the left. So if it's gonna go overland, cause the road curves around, I'm out here now, go home is over here, straight line, we go over the hill. I almost made it. I would have made it at 160 feet. It started going and I figured I better get back to the go home. I'm glancing over, I lose signal for a little while and then I get signal back and I can see the shadow of the drone on the ground it's gonna hit the hill and there's nothing I can do about it it's gonna just <clears throat> into the hill I walked out there and walked around for probably 45 minutes looking for the thing as I was searching for it I would get signal and then I'd keep walking went up the wrong hill it wouldn't have made it According to this, I'm still getting closer. So I'd go out there, and anyway, it wasn't out there. Came all the way back up to the top of the hill, started to get signal and played hot and cold. So it's somewhere, I think, on this hill. Be on a high spot. You're hot, you're hot, you're hot, you're cold. Now you don't have signal, and so you walk back where you did have signal and try the other direction. And then I was at the top of the hill looking at the side of the hill, figuring it hit the hill. So it's got to be down here. But then when I turned around, there it is. It was past the summit of the hill. It had grounded out, bounced, came up, came back down. Okay. Looks like it nicked the blades a little bit, but it's mostly okay. I'm gonna start it up and see if it's okay. Or actually, maybe I should try, try down there. I walked back down the hill, got back to the car, 
put a new battery in it, started it up to test. I wasn't going to fly anywhere. I was just going to try and hover test it. Um, got it up. It did its beep, beep, beep. It was ready to go. The app wasn't connecting. I could move the camera. I could tilt and it was responding. Um, and I put it up in the air and flew and it flew. And I tried recording and when I got home, those recordings worked. So it was recording, it was responding. The app wasn't linked. My data on the controller was working um, and I was pretty disappointed. Tried it a few more times, still can't get the app to link. But the video signal I mean, the controller is controlling the camera, so I don't know what that means. We'll, we'll find out. And I thought maybe today that I would open it up and see if I could see anything. And I was about to do that and thought, it's sitting right here. Start everything up and see if it'll go. That means it knows what it is. Hey! Everything works. It's fine. It's not fine. The app still is having issues. The X-Star is kind of finicky. I think it's a bad connection inside. Something's broken. So I'm going to open it and see if I can fix that. If I can't, off she goes to Autel again. What I have learned from this experience, don't use program modes. Everybody who uses program modes crashes. All the videos I've seen online of people flying and crashing their drones, it's because they're using orbit and it's going sideways and hits something, or they're using follow me, or they lose signal at some point and it goes behind. I don't really care to use those, I think. I think I'm just gonna try to continue to work on my piloting skills and my orbits and, and get my own manual control of the drone. That's my goal. Um, go home altitude. Put it at 400 feet. You just put it at 400 feet. There's no reason not to be at 400 feet. A lot of people that I watch fly drones online fly in very flat places and it's fine to go home at 60 feet or something because every place is flat. Here in Utah, it's not that flat. So respond to the ground around you and make your go home altitude choice accordingly. Don't trust the go home feature ever. Don't fly your battery down. If I'm wrong, skewer me in the comments, please. But I say give yourself plenty of time to get that thing back manually before it decides to kick in, fail safe, and come home. I, I've never really had a problem with keeping my eye on my battery. I'm pretty paranoid about it. But driving the car, Whenever you put it up, keep an eye on your battery. Don't mess with failsafe. It's garbage. The follow me function is kind of cool, but I don't see a lot of uses for it for me. And the drone is okay. So...